And we are here again, ladies and gentlemen. As a Leafs fan, this is tough to see, but once again, the Toronto Maple Leafs have lost in game number seven this year to the Tampa Bay Lightning. It is extremely, extremely difficult to see, man. It's really, really bad. As a Leafs fan, it has been nothing but draining to watch the Toronto Maple Leafs lose year after year after year. <laughs> and things finally seemed like they were going to turn around. They had their best complete seven-game series since this team started to make their comeback. Really, when after Austin Matthews got drafted, when the team finally became relevant again, and it just seems like their very best just wasn't enough against the two-time defending Stanley Cup champions in the Tampa Bay Lightning. Now, going into this offseason, Toronto Maple Leafs' Brendan Shanahan has decided to fire both Kyle Dubas and Sheldon Keith and hire Mion as the general manager and director of hockey operations of the Toronto Maple Leafs going to the extreme measures can your boy Goldie here turn around the Toronto Maple Leafs? Well, we're going to find out. Now, we're being tasked with recovering this team in the offseason. Now, if you look through the playoffs, you look through the playoffs, um, obviously, Boston didn't make it to the second round. That's the only one, but I got the simulation pretty much perfect, as perfect as I can get it. But anyway, um... But in all seriousness now, we had to fire Sheldon Keith. Sheldon Keith had to go. There's no question about it. And it's weird because, like, I don't know what to really do with this team. Like, I felt, I feel like if I try and keep this exact core together, I'll be able to, like, recover this team. But, like, and, like, it just sucks because we're in such a tough division. Florida, Tampa... Toronto, Ottawa is going to be good in a couple seasons. Um, Detroit's going to be good in a couple seasons with their prospects coming up. Montreal is going to be good with their prospects coming up. And it just feels like the endless nightmare that is the Atlantic Division. It's going to be a tough ride as the general manager of the Toronto Maple Leafs. I have been guided. I have been given... Three years, three years, which is when, which is when Mitch Marner's and John Tavares's contract expires. If I can't get the team out of the first round by year three, I will be f released. I will not be renewed as a con as a con and I will not be renewed a contract with the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I don't know, like, it's going to be interesting to see. We're going to take a look at our contract situation to start. Because when you look at it, there's a lot of players that we got to re-sign going into the next season. And we don't have a lot of cap space. We don't. Like, 
you look at all the names, Jack Campbell being the main one. Like, Jack Campbell, like, let's see, like, he wants a, north of $4 million. We only got $5 million in cap space. Peter Mrazek is going to be a contract that is going to be stuck with us for three years, no matter what we do. Because unless a team is willing to take that contract, then we're stuck with that contract. We're not allowed to buy out the contract until at least what, one year left in the contract. So we have to keep this contract guaranteed for another two years. And then you look through the defensive core. I mean, Morgan Riley's really good. He has his new deal starting up. Jake Muzzin's starting to get up there in age. He's should be good for the next three years. Next two years, sorry. I forgot that this is their co current contracts. TJ Brody is going to be good for two years. Mark Giordano is going to be interesting because so he's someone that I would love to bring back for my third pair. But I just don't know if I'll be able to resign him due to the cap. So I have Rasmus Sandin and Timothy Liljegren that I also have to sign. So it's a very tough, tough cap situation. I got to make some trades. Mitch Marner, that contract can't go anywhere. William Nylander, unfortunately, that contract can't go anywhere for another two years. He's still signed for another two years. He's the same length as Austin Matthews' contract. Mitch Marner signed for another three years. Andre Kasha, I've n n I don't think there's a chance that he gets re-signed. Especially if he makes a jump. If he makes a jump, then we're kind of screwed. Ely McKayev, Pierre Engvall. Like, Nick Robinson's going to help. Like, <laughs> he still has another two years on his contract. He's going to help. But what else is there really, like, like, we can grow Nick Robinson, then that would be nice. Michael Bunting we have for another season. Alexander Kerfoot played absolutely awful during the playoffs. But you only have to deal with that contract for one more year. And unless we can find a suitable trade for Kerfoot, I'm not going to trade him. Austin Matthews, John Tavares, we have a window. John Tavares is here for three more seasons. Austin Matthews is here for two more seasons. The two-time defending Maurice Richard, the Rocket. The Maurice Richard Trophy winner. The Rocket. Like... David Kemp is here for one more season, which is nice. Colin Blackwell and Jason Spezza. Spezza might retire. Like, if we lose Jason Spezza, that's someone in the locker room that you want to keep. And if you look in our, like, our system, like, we don't, like, we have Amir off, which will, which can be beneficial to us, but we have to resign him as well. We have, I'm not even, SDA. I'm just calling him SDA through the series. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Um, like, you got Hervinen, Ronnie Hervinen, second round pick in 2020. Like, we have, we have Matthew Knives, who's just really good. But, like, there's so many, like, issues with the team. Like, we don't have really a lot of young players. Like, Nemeli is going to help, for sure. Like, like, who else on our defense do we really have to, you know, build this team around? Goaltending. Like, go goaltending is, like, like we got Ian Scott and Arky Aminoff. Sorry for butchering that. Eric Shelgren kind of proved that he was going to be forever AHL goalie. Jo Joseph Wall, same thing. Like, we are in a lot of trouble here in Toronto. Like, we, we don't have the cap space. We're going to have to make some moves at the draft. Looks like this video is going to be centered around the NHL entry draft. And, like, we only have two draft picks. Like, if you look, like, we have the first, we have our first round pick and we have our third round pick. And that is it. And we have a late first round pick. So, like, if you look here, 
Where is our pick? So our pick is around 24. 20, like 24 to 26 range. So we got a lot of issues here in the city of Toronto that we're not going to be able to really, really show that we make it far. Like, we're going to have to keep on, we're stuck in a pattern for at least another two years until we lose the Nylander and Matthews contract. And hopefully they'll want to resign for cheaper. If they don't, then I don't know what we're going to do. Toronto's in a bad cap situation and I have to try and fix it. So I have a few ideas on how I'm going to fix at least the cap a little bit. I'm going to try and keep the series as realistic as I can. but. Like, obviously, it's a video game, so you can't keep it, like, totally realistic. But we can move on. We'll sim to the end of the, we'll sim to the, end of the playoffs to see who wins the cup. Now, I'm going to say this straight up. Like, obviously, the awards aren't going to be the same. But you know that, and look at that. The Florida Panthers win the Stanley Cup. They finally exert their demons, and they win the Stanley Cup. Congratulations to Florida. They win the Stanley Cup. They're good. Way to go. And if you, all right, and they win the cup. The President's Trophy went to Colorado, and it was a Calgary, Florida final. What a man, like the, the Canadian curse is still alive and proud. Calgary had a fantastic year. And Toronto, just once again, after having a record breaking season, it's just not enough. It's uh, going to be interesting here. going to be very, very interesting. So, one thing we got to do, um, even though this isn't technically Sheldon Kiefich, uh, Ariel Sharma, Sheldon Keith, you're fired. Um, you're just, yeah, I'm just going to base you off of Sheldon Keith. Um, just because we need a new head coach. Toronto needs a new head coach. We won't be able to get our new head coach until after we get to the re-sign stage. And we we're not going to be able to get to the re-sign stage until after the draft. So, like, I have a couple ideas that I want to go into into the draft. We, we, we sim, up, sim up here and ha! ha, ha Montreal traded their first round pick. And Arizona got the two and three pick. That is hilarious! Oh, Montreal, you goof the ball. And Columbus gets the first overall pick, so Columbus is going to get Shane Wright. Columbus is getting the first and 11th overall pick. Like, that's a nuts. Oh, yeah, they got it from the Seth Jones trade. That's right. I just had to remember that. But yeah, Columbus is going to be set. Um, Let's see here. Uh, Detroit 4, like... Oh, like if Montreal did, doesn't trade that pick away, we have three teams in our division that get top five picks. Luckily, we only have two teams in our division that gets top five picks. And then we have Tampa, Florida, Boston. Like, our division's ridiculous. Now we have to look at retired players. Eric Stahl, oh, my favorite player, he retires. That's really sad. The only part of the cup run that I really enjoyed, but I believe they won the Calder Cup Finals. Oh, I guess he didn't play in the Calder Cup Finals. They must have just sent him down. Uh, Sandeo Chara finally hangs up the skates. That's a sad sight to see. Like, like it was, it was watching Sandeo Chara's last game with the New York Islanders and the way he kind of, like, Everyone's like giving him handshakes, shaking up to him, and he just kind of looked like, "What? Uh, am I not, not allowed back next season?" Like, I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. And Jeff Little is the only goalie retired. But we're going to this draft with an interesting mindset. Fix the Toronto Maple Leafs. But oh, we lost two coaches as well. Ooh. All right, so we're we're gonna have to fix our coaching staff because we have nothing. We're going right into the draft, and. I'm going to be looking for some trades, okay? There's three players that I'm looking to trade going into the entry draft in order to help us out a little bit. Um, First, the biggest name on our list, 
I want to see what I can get for Alexander Kerfoot. Now, the reason why I want to see what I can get for Kerfoot is the $3.3 million cap hit for what he did in the playoffs was just not good enough. Yes, he's a key penalty killer for Toronto, but the fact you take stupid penalties and the fact that you give away the puck and you, you're scared with the puck, to have that on this team for another season is just going to be very, 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 very difficult to deal with if you want to get over the hump that is the playoffs for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and you can't have players who play scared. So if we're going to look through all these teams, Bogfist, Bogfist, the fourth, third and a fourth it wouldn't be bad. Ratcliffe and a fourth, a fifth, a third and a fourth in next year's draft wouldn't be bad. A fourth in this year, a third next year. Vegas. I'm trying to think of what would be the bet. I f well, okay. So I feel like I just kind of want to get. I you know what? Look, I'm gonna look here. Kurt, I want to check out this Kirk guy because he has another two years left on his deal. I know it says three, but the draft hasn't like taken that thing account of yet. He's a seventh round pick, and this kid can make something. Maybe he can be a potential replacement for Kerfoot on that third or fourth line for the Toronto Maple Leafs. If that's the case, then that's pretty good. He had a decent season. I mean, not really decent. He had 29 points. But he looks like he only played 11 minutes a game. So you give him top line ice time in the AHL and a fifth round pick in a, such a deep draft. I mean, I feel like this is the best offer that we have here. And I think I'm willing to do it. So Alexander Kerfoot. You're going to go to the Arizona Coyotes, and I'm going to pick up, what is this kid's first name? Liam Kirk. Liam Kirk and a fifth-round pick for Alexander Kerfoot. No, trade number one is done. All right. That is the first player traded. Now, the second contract that I want to move is Justin Hall. Okay, I know Leafs fans attack him for... Oh, hold on. Dane Wright does go first. I know Leafs fans attack him, but I don't even feel like it's really his fault. I feel like the media is just riding on, riding, riding on Justin Hall, and it's not even his fault, man. And I feel like it's unfair to keep him in the city of Toronto. So, I'm going to look to trade him. I'm not going to trade him to Arizona. Um, no. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is the David... So that's the third round pick from the David Kemp trade. Okay. This is the same... Similar simula... A similar situation to Liam Kirk. He's a power forward, a six foot three guy. He could be a nice fourth line guy for us for sure. Like, he's got... He's got decent body check and he's not a terrible skater. His defensive stats suck. His senses suck. He's got a powerful shot. That decent passing. For Justin Hall and a third round pick in such a deep draft. I think this is a deal that I would be willing to make. And I didn't have to look through any of the other trades. Like, I feel like this is the right trade. So Justin Hall, and I believe, wasn't Justin Hall drafted by the Blackhawks? Yeah, so he's going back to the team that drafted him. So... I feel like it's only a justice. So, Justin Hall, thank you for your service as a Toronto Maple Leaf. I really appreciate you. You were a part of one of a, one of the best defensive pairs that Toronto had for a couple of years with yourself and Jake Muzzin. But, unfortunately, you played your last game in Game 7 in a Toronto uniform. And you have been traded to the Chicago Blackhawks. So, that is two trades done. And that helps us out in our cap situation. Now we have an extra like $5 million in cap to play to play with. No, would it be five? Yeah, it would be about $5.2 million. Now, I'm gonna, now this third one I don't expect to trade. I want to see if anyone's willing to take Peter Mrazek. I didn't think so. Um, so we're stuck with that contract. That's really unfortunate. But, hmm... Interesting, interesting. So we got rid of those two players. We've simmed our draft pick. I wonder who we're going to draft with the 25th pick. Olgren. Alright, so 
I know the type of coaches that I think that would fit best with this team, and this is not a type of player that would fit with any of our players. A lot of our guys are carry, cycle, slash shoot guys. And it's just when you have dump cycle, like it, it limits to what you can do. He has an NHL ETA of two years, which is nice. Like Philip Messier, I don't have any scouts on. I didn't scout this Ty Nelson guy for some reason. Tristan Lund Lundo. Tristan Lundo. I don't I have his pinch pinch balance, which I know can fit with guys like Morgan Riley, I think. He's got mobility. You got Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes would be someone. You know what? Hopefully we can develop this Jack Hughes guys into like a second John Tavares. That could be something. Owen Beck as well. That nah, dump. Can't a dump. Like you can't get a really dump guy. Del Bell use Del Bell lose. No. He can continue Toronto's trend and <laughs> drafting Russians. Alexander Perfialov. This guy is a gem. Doesn't look like I need this wasn't fully uncovered. So it's between Lindo, Lindo and Jack Hughes. Lindo or Hughes. Hmm. You know what? Toronto has been looking for that right shot defenseman come in be a game changer so if he can be that game changing right handed defenseman for the Toronto Maple Leafs he can become the next Justin Hall or hopefully a better version of Justin Hall then with the 25th overall pick the Toronto Maple Leafs do in fact select Tristan Lundo Lundo I'm gonna go with Lundo hopefully people who watch this video correct me in the comments but we're picking Tristan Lundo Welcome to the Toronto Maple Leafs, and that is not a bad prospect. That's someone that you can get to the NHL in two, three years if you build him right. Like, Olgren was in 68. You don't have a pick to a 73rd overall pick, so I'm trying to think. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I know this name. Why do I know this name? Ivan Mirshankinov. Shankinov. There's no off in his name. Shanko. Miro Shanko. I recognize his name. Um. I don't know. Do I continue Toronto's trend and just picking up <laughs> just picking up Russian snipers? You know what? I already picked up a defenseman. I don't need a defenseman. This guy wouldn't be too bad, but energy typically I think we have a lot of efficient players. Alright, where's our next pick? Our 25th. Oh, yeah, I guess it would be 25th. I'll call a timeout. I'll call a timeout. Just so I have a couple minutes to figure this out. I've. Yeah, so if we're going to help draft Marashenko, it would have to be now. Lucas. You know what? I think I'm going to go with Ivan Marashenkov. Yeah. Or Shanko. My God. Why did I keep it saying shaken off? It's Sh Shanko. With the ninth pick in the third round. I, I don't remember. I think this is Columbus's for the Nick Felino trade, I think. But yes, I'm going to go with Ivan Marashenko. Welcome to the Toronto Maple Leafs. No! <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go. I knew I recognized the name. <laughs> Let's go. That is a. Oh, yes. That's a draft pick, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's arguably better than our first round pick. That's unbelievable. All right. Okay. Okay. Good draft so far for the Maple Leafs. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, Sam Plant. Uh, this guy is, like, good. Like, he can fit pretty much anywhere. You know what? I don't even think I have to think about this one. I feel like Sam Plant's the way to go here. Hopefully, he's a good player. Let's see. Okay, top nine. Okay. 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 That could be a fourth round pick. Ooh, Gustav Nykvist went to the Kraken. And it looks like Anders Lee went to Winnipeg. Man, trained their captain there in Islanders. All right. The Arizona fifth round pick for a sixth and a seventh. <laughs> They want to give me Arizona's seventh round pick for their fifth. Uh no, I I'd rather just take the fifth round pick. Better chance at a better player. Okay, that's a name. Mastro Domenic. I can't I can't pronounce these names. I'm terrible at this. Jackson Edward. Like, oh my god. Like, that's a big boy name. I mean, you know what? Oh, one of these two defensemen. I don't think I want Igor. You know what? I want Igor. I don't know. No, 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 no. I, I don't think. Ah, no. I need. A, I we need defensemen. Um, do I go to the Canadian or do I go Russian? Well, Toronto Maple Leafs have known. I've been known for quite some time to pick the Russians over the Canadian. This time, I'm going to go with the Canadian, Micro Mastro Domenic. Welcome to the Toronto Maple Leafs, and you're... Okay. Okay, they're both the same player. Okay, that's fine. They're both literally the exact same player. That's fine. And that was our draft, ladies and gentlemen. That was that was our draft. That was it. That's all we had. We, like, we traded for two draft picks for Kerfoot and thing, and we got Marischenko and Mastro Domenico. <laughs> Try and pronounce those names fast three times. That's not a bad draft for the Maple Leafs, though. Considering we had limited draft picks, that's not bad at all. Now, it gets to the interesting part, though. Now, I like I said, I was only going to do the draft in this video, and I am going to stick to that. I am, I'm not... Going to get into the resign stage. I'm going to think things over. Got to think what I got to do. But that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yes, we're finally back on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you guys for episode number two shortly. See you guys there.